Hello everybody and welcome back to Business Guide. Introduction, Tesla has revolutionized the automobile industry already by showing everyone that electric vehicles are the future. With the inevitable decline of battery costs and the increase in energy density, EVs will without a doubt become cheaper, faster and have a longer driving range. This is all great, but the majority potential of Tesla now is not only limited to the automobile sector, but much more. Elon Musk has clearly stated that Tesla energy will become much larger than Tesla's vehicle segment. This was not only limited to Tesla solar panel or power wall, but the Tesla Megapack, a product that will soon break the power plant industry and power the world. Megapack significantly reduces the complexity of large-scale battery storage and provides an easy installation and connection process. Each Megapack comes from the factory fully assembled with up to 3 megawatt hours MWHS of storage and 1.5 MW of inverter capacity, building on Powerpack's engineering with an AC interface and 60% increase in energy density to achieve significant cost and time savings compared to other battery systems and traditional fossil fuel power plants. Using Megapack, Tesla can deploy an emissions-free 250 MW, 1 GWH power plant in less than three months on a three acre footprint, four times faster than a traditional fossil fuel power plant of that size. Megapack can also be DC connected directly to solar, creating seamless renewable energy plants. Recent breakthroughs made by Tesla's Megapack project. Tesla's Megapack Accelerating Innovation Many of us would not be quite aware of the Megapack. The Megapack is not available or made for people like you and I. The Tesla bears on long that Tesla is a car company but enlisting the key part to Tesla's future in the essence. The Tesla Megapack is a collection of series of batteries placed in a large box. This storage allows us to regulate the aspects of the battery such as thermoregulation with up to 3 megawatt hours of energy storage. The Megapack has a wide variety of usage. For example, using the Tesla autonomous software program, one can actually make make money trading energy quite easily. Energy prices fluctuate in a predictive way, as during times of peak demand energy prices are higher, and at night when there is less demand for energy demand or energy prices decline. The Mega Pack allows you to take advantage of this price difference as you buy energy at midnight, store the energy in the Mega Pack and sell it at noon. Essentially, this means that the Tesla's Mega Pack is buying low and selling high with energy, however the usage of buying with low and selling high with energy goes far beyond just money. During the day, the demand of energy often exceeds the amount of energy the power plants can produce. This is where peaker power plants come to play. Peaker power plants are highly inefficient. Power plants focus on generating energy at times of high and high demand, but to only run for a few hours a day, at maximum peaker plants emit a high amount of nitrogen oxide in order to maximize a profit. Over the last decade, New York City alone has spent $4.5 billion on peaker power plant, which according to studies account for over 10% of nitrogen oxide emissions. By selling energy during peak hours, the mega pack lessens the need for peaker power plants and will eventually make it go obsolete. In addition to reselling energy, the Tesla Mega Pack also allows the city to run during power outages. This is one can probably make can everybody for more money. During times of power outages, energy prices skyrocket, allowing the Mega Pack to generate a whole lot of money. With all this massive income, the passive Mega Pack allows itself over time, similar to solar panel, solar panel. Mega Packs are currently manufactured at Gigafactory. Tesla has stated that he's investing in expanding the factory in order to increase Mega Pack, Model 3, and Model Y output efficiency. Mega Packs are sold by Tesla's worldwide network of internal sales representatives and external partners. Pricing for Tesla Mega Packs is not publicly available. Each Mega Pack comes with a 15 year no deficit and energy retention warranty, according to Tesla. A 10 or 20 year performance guarantee is also available for an additional cost. Once a Mega Pack has reached the end of its useful life, it is returned to Tesla to be recycled. Now, this is all great, but it is important to understand how much potential we are actually talking about here. Mega Pack government deals and utility partnerships. Lux Research, as well as known research firm located in New York City, released a research study on the stationary storage market in 2019. What they ended up estimating was that by 2035, the market's revenue will become $111.8 billion per year. This is, in our opinion, is actually an underestimate. With declining battery costs and increasing energy density, the mega pack will keep on rising to the point where peak of power plants will not make any sense on the economic basis. Lux Research estimated that stationary storage would take over 40% of the global market, but many disagree by saying that battery storage would take takeover 100% of the market given the rise of the promising battery technology. One of these people who disagree is Charmath Pillahapapatipipa, a famous venture capitalist who first invested in companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook and Tesla. When Charmath invested early in Tesla, he saw the eventual acceleration of electric vehicles. Recently, he went on CNBC, he explained the potential in EVs is not the market to focus on anymore. EVs have the potential of worth hundreds of billions, but that potential is already understood. Charmath is focused on the potential of trillions in the energy market. As Charmath quotes, many do not place their trust in Tesla's mega pack or even 
know of it. Get Mega Pack's power walls and solar panels will become an intricate part of Tesla's future business, but it is a leading hedge when it comes to electrification and decarbonisation. This is no longer about cars. That's the first wave of growth. We think people are pricing in the evisceration of traditional autos and an enormous shift to electric vehicles, of which Tesla will get the disproportionate share. Pepper also added what Tesla is going to do with their battery packs and software will all of a sudden allow each of us to be in the energy business as well. Again, people will get angry, they will not understand, they will try to push back and they will be wrong. And what's going to happen is this stock is now going to represent the totality around decarbonisation and sustainability. So it was really great to own this thing around cars for the first few years. I get it. But now I underwrite this stock as a push toward decarbonisation, towards unregulated energy and towards the ability for all of us to become our little micro utilities. Recent results of Tesla Mega Upback deals. Tesla's Mega Pack sales have increased substantially over the past quarter. For example, Tesla recently secured a deal with Switch Energy's data center worth approximately $200 million. Now, these recent deals may sound quite recent, deals may sound quite recent, may sound small, but Tesla has shown a potential for much larger partnerships. Back in late 2017, the Australia energy market operator, also known as AEMO, purchased $66 million worth of Tesla Power Pack, a smaller version of the Mega Pack as a test run. In under one year, the AEMO reported profit of approximately $17 million, leaving an estimated pay of rates for four years. Because of how successful the power packs were, Australia has expanded the system to become the world's largest lithium ion battery system and has already entered phase three, where Tesla would be powering 50,000 homes through solar panels, power walls, and mega packs. In addition to Australia, PG&E has announced that construction has started for new mega pack project that will cost up to $384 million. According to PG&E's calculation, this will save around $100 million in the next 20 years. For utility size installations like the upcoming Moss Landing project in California with PG&E, mega pack will act as a sustainable alternative to natural gas picker power plants. Picker power plants fire up whenever the local utility grid can't provide enough power to meet peak demand. They cost millions of dollars per day to operate and are some of the least efficient and dirtiest plants on the grid. Instead, a megapack installation can use stored excess solar or wind energy to support the grid's peak loads. Countless other companies and governments have initiated partnership with Tesla for Megapack, including the UK, St. John Energy, Hawaiian Electric, and many more. While these deals are worth billions of dollars, the true potential is in the hundreds of billions, if not trillions. For the most part, many of these utility companies and government are testing on the Megapack before purchasing more. As we saw with Australia, the results were shocking. Therefore, as much and more utility companies and governments realize the potential more utility companies will go all in the Megapack. Ultimately, the end goal will be to disrupt power plants, solar's and inevitable decrease in efficiency and low cost will eventually make it so economical appealing, the utility companies will have no choice what to switch solar or die off. In addition, the mega pack will also become a cheap version, vertically integrating into the entire energy process as it will replace peak of power plants and other forms of energy storage. It is important to understand that as the world's transition to sustainable energy continues to accelerate, the market for advanced battery storage solutions is growing rapidly.